For all of you book and movie fans out there, we have an excellent interview for you this week. We're featuring South Asian Literary and Theater Arts Festival here in Washington, D.C., and this is the 10th year of the festival. We're lucky to have two of the three co-chairs of this festival with us here in the studio, Lata Reddy and Kiran Migra, and they're here to tell us more about who we're going to meet at the festival at the Smithsonian on November 13th. So welcome, Lata, Lata and Kiran. Thank you. Thank we're you. really Thank happy you. to have you here. Um, Lata, can you tell me a little bit about the theme of this year's CELTAF event? Sure. Um, so the theme is uh, a landscape of political and cultural identities. And so it focuses on uh, geopolitics and the influence of South Asian culture and uh, politics sort of in a global sphere. So we're interested in um, how members of the diaspora travel and, you know, sort of influence culture and politics uh, beyond sort of, you know, the borders of South Asia. That's really interesting. Now, how did you get involved in this festival? Why are you on this committee? My passion is uh, making movies. I'm an aspiring filmmaker, and that draw me to Saltaf um, because there's a film aspect mm -hmm. to it. And the other part of it is it has also literature. And as you, we all know, that movies are made from books. Mm -hmm. And so I thought it was a great festival, and it's one of its kind uh, around the country. Yeah, it's really exciting because it's a totally free festival co-sponsored by Smithsonian institutions. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's really accessible to anybody who's interested in, in coming. Right. And yeah. what about you, Lata? Why are you interested in this? I love to watch movies, and I also love to read. Um, and I actually teach literature. So, uh, the, uh, you know, having the opportunity to actually interact with the authors um, was really exciting for me. Great. So what do we have to look forward to this year? What's uh, unique about the festival this time? Um, we have two really exciting author panels, um, including uh, one that sort of features more nonfiction work. The title of the panel is uh, Global Displacements, and we have uh, three really great authors on it, including Kenyon Sam, who just uh, recently won the 2010 Penn Award for her book, The Sky Train, uh, which is a lyrical memoir about Tibet. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, Rajiv Chandrasekharan, uh, who wrote Imperial Life in the Emerald City and um, who's national editor of the Washington Post. Oh, yeah, we've had him here in the studio before. That's very exciting. Yeah, and I'm very excited to meet him also. <laughs> um, and the third author is Naeem Mohimin, who's uh, based in both Bangladesh and New York. Mm -hmm. And um, he'll be showing some video clips of his most recent work, so we're very excited uh, to see that. Okay, so these are all the nonfiction works that are right, one of the, exactly. the panels. And what about, uh, I know in the morning of the festival, because it's an all-day festival, mm -hmm. right, there's a film that's being show, shown, Shakti Rising? Yes. I yeah. haven't heard of it. Can you tell us yeah. more about that? Shakti Rising uh, is a documentary feature mm -hmm. on uh, financing self-groups, which empowers women and also community. And in this time of uh, re uh, recession and mm -hmm. um, financial tough times, mm -hmm. I think it's a very apt movie and uh, it could be the solution just not for a country but throughout the world. And uh, Shakti Raisin has and got any uh, buzz around India yet, so we are thinking, uh, hoping Salta would yeah. showcase it and uh, creates a lot of buzz and gets its attention what it deserves. Yeah, and I, I think it's very interesting because even the word Shakti, that strength, is a feminine word, right, in, in Indian languages. So uh, the idea of strength is uh, about women in many ways, and this film is uh, talking about women who are in microfinance, who are starting their own small businesses and entrepreneurs. So absolutely it makes sense to feature such people, you know, in this documentary. Yeah, I've seen the movie.